Howdy CEOs, and welcome to New Players Teaching New Players, a series where we talk about everything Prosperous Universe. I've titled this episode as 2.5 because I'm not really teaching you anything today. So, if you're enjoying the game and having a blast, skip it. <laughs> no, really, save your time and skip this video. But, if you're playing this game and your grandma sees what you're doing and she's like, Oh, is that Prosperous Universe? My friends at the retirement home told me it's pay to win. Well, what you need to do is you need to print out the URL of this video on a piece of paper, fold it up, stick it on an envelope, stick a stamp on that envelope, because that's still a thing, and then mail it to your grandma so that she understands that this game is not pay to win. Essentially, I'm going to be talking about the differences in the licenses and give pause to dispel as well as confirm people's fears about this game being pay to win, pay to play, or anything along those strings of thought. So, first, is this game pay to win? Well, no, that's actually a downright, overwhelmingly false statement. Most likely because, well, winning. What is winning in this game? Getting money, building your base, getting more power? This is an economy simulator, so to say that the win condition is something, it's kind of tough of a target to identify. Secondly, though, is this game pay to play? Well, no, and sort of yes, okay? See, like winning... Playing also comes kind of with its hard-to-identify definition. Does this game afford paying players opportunities that the trial players don't get? Yes. Are they game-breaking? Uh, depends what the game is to you. So if the game is like trading commodities on the market, getting money and building your base, then this game is completely free to you. If this game is about building space corporation with other players and making plans on galactic domination... Yes, you do have to pay for that galactic domination. So I'm not going to give you a blow-by-blow -blow bedtime story on every finer detail between paid and not paid, but I will break down some of the key points. First, an easy duck I could shoot out of the sky is the FX market, or financial exchange market. It's essentially where the various four currencies are traded back and forth among players. And frankly put, it's useless. It's used, but there's a lot of economic features that go into this game that kind of make it useless. Paid players get access to it, and non-paying players do not. Both, I'd argue, are in the same camp. Nobody cares about it. Seriously, yeah. Uh, the second is the LM, or local market. Paid players get access to it, and non-players do not. However, this would be a misnomer to some degree, because I don't think that the game does a fair job of explaining an intermediate tier of license known as the basic license. See, with the basic license, you pay for one month of the subscription, and then you can stop paying, and then your license is either down slash upgraded. See, you no longer have a trial license, but you no longer have a pro license either. With the basic license, you can accept local market ads, but you just can't play setting of your own. Uh, so for those that don't know though what the local market is, essentially it's like the corkboard of the bulletins outside of the stock exchange. So, while the CX is going on and people are buying and trading commodities, some people take advantage of a more smaller slash more visible market and put proverbial thumbtacks on their ads for people to see. However, unlike market forces that dictate the CX market, this market is unregulated, so there is a little bit of an advantage there. Having access to this, in my opinion, is the single probably most distinguishing feature for paying or non-paying players, but for more reasons than I just mentioned. I'm not going to get into the absolute jungle with this, but essentially the buying, trading, selling of corporations happens on this market. So if you want to participate in a corporation which is larger than your company, so you have your company which is your, your own little company, and then a corporation which is like a guild or a clan, uh, you will need to be a paying player. While this sounds like an absolute deal breaker for some, usually if you're interested in a corporation, you can join one with a trial account, see how they run their operation, and if it's everything that you told your grandmother it was, then you can probably buy a pro account and start participating. There is sort of two last components I'll touch on, and yes, these are probably the most pay-to-play points in the game. One, trial accounts cannot buy more ships than two. However, my argument to that is that Ships cost an obscene amount of money. They cost multiple millions to build, and on average, you can only make about $3,000 to $4,000 in currency a day. So do the math. You're not buying a ship anytime soon. Two, you cannot upgrade your base past level five. Well, considering I'm on level two and I've been playing this game for over a month, I'd say that if you get to level five, you're heavily invested in this game. 
So that's all the major points I'll touch on today. There could be some other points to touch on, but those really aren't as important as these kind of main touch points. Honestly, what I'll do is I'll end with this last little aside. This game is fantastic, and there isn't many games like this out there. The devs need to afford the servers, electricity, and they need to feed, clothe, and shelter themselves and their families. If you can't afford to pay for this game, that's completely understandable. Nobody's pressuring you to do that. But if you think that you should get everything for free in life, honestly, this game is probably not for you. But if you can throw a few shekels to the developers every month so they continue to work on this game, I can honestly tell you it's worth it. They're great developers. Anywho, guys, that's all I have on the paid versus non-paid argument. Hope you learned something new. And uh, see you until next time.